everyone welcome to the stock market morning prep video for wednesday april 22nd well we did get a little bit of a push up in the early morning and again i uh, mentioned to you before really can't stand when we get a lot of that uh, either uh, heavy pre-market strength or weakness that kind of kind of messes up the trading day for the day traders but um yesterday we did get that and i want to show that to you on a five minute chart but look what happened we just kind of died here and just literally gradually just uh, sold off and pretty much tra trended flat into the day. So uh, we reversed again, which is not a good sign that we cannot hold intraday gains. But uh, we didn't really get a bounce, um, a, a decent bounce where we could have gotten short the market, uh, at least for a day trade, not scalping. Uh, but you could see here, we just kind of meandered down very light little bounces and then we sold off and kind of trended into the close now look what happened this morning right around uh, 3 30 when we had the european open right around here we rallied up and again we sold off and we sold off pretty hard um this is a rally right up in the two o'clock 2 30 market opens in europe and boom we sold off pretty hard and now we're just kind of trending here uh pretty much uh in the morning the pre-market session here going into our new york open so again uh, down about four and a half handles, which is not bad. Uh, so we definitely should have some opportunity today. But I really just hate this uh, when, they, when they really push them lower or higher, and then they kind of keep them there. So we'll see what happens today. Today should be very interesting, and I'm sure we should get a couple of decent trades off today. But you can see uh, what I'm talking about here. Okay, now um, we had to, we talked about uh, the uh, technology coming into some strength. We also talk about uh, seasonality strength, that is, and we also. Uh, spoke about the uh, equity markets. They usually get into some seasonal strength going into the last two weeks of um, April. And then, of course, they always have that, you know, quote unquote, sell and may go away. Uh, and that usually hasn't happened uh, in the last couple of years. It, it's been later and later. Uh, and then sometimes we haven't even had a sell off. So, but I do think that this is different. I've been mentioning that to you. And again, this is just my opinion. It's not uh, anything to take action on, at least at the moment. We need to see price confirm what the analysis is. And right now, I am looking for some strength, uh, some weakness. I would like to see a little bit of a pop and then um, have the markets uh, sell off um, and get everybody long, the retail crowd long, and then the markets sell off again. I think that's what's happening. I mentioned that to you a couple of days ago in the video where, uh, you know, it's in the best interest of, of big fund managers, pension fund managers, hedge funds to keep markets elevated. And every time you get a pop, what happens? It gets sold into. And who is doing the selling? The big guys, the whales, they're doing all the selling. You could see that. You clearly see that in a price action. So that's why I think that we have pretty much um, an inevitable uh, market pullback. And I'll say that as a pullback for now. And then um, what happens is that pullback could turn into a full-fledged full, full -fledged correction. Excuse me. So we'll just take that one step at a time. But today, I'm going to be looking to sell rallies today. And again, that analysis could change at any given moment, guys. So just keep that in mind, all right? Um, let's go right into the daily charts here. Well, we did get a bounce up, and you can see here. And now we just sold off uh, and we reverted back down again. Again, not a good sign, okay? Every time markets uh, pop, they get sold into closer to the end of the day, all right? So that's not a good sign. But we do have our, our momentum indicators kind of pointing up here. So that's a decent sign. Um, we do have still weakness in the transports, but I'll get into that in a moment. Uh, IWM, Russell 2000, you can see this is clearly the leader here, um, very strong. Uh, so this here it continues to trend up. But remember, you get any weakness, everything gets sold into. It doesn't matter. Good assets, bad assets. And you can see, you'll see what I mean. Russell will sell off the quickest. So, uh, you know, you have 9, 10 days of uh, gains wiped out in 2 or 3 days. So just keep that in mind. <clears throat> As of right now, excuse me. We are okay with the Russell. So that's a good sign. Here's the bad sign. We have now a doji underneath the 50, above the 20. But here, to me, is just this little uh, consolidation here. It looks like a typical bear flag to me. Now, if it breaks back above the 50, this won't be a bear flag. This will just be now an uptrend channel making higher highs and higher lows here. You can see that clearly. So that is a good sign, but we have a bearish pattern not yet confirmed. We need to break down and below it. But if that takes out the 200-day, give it a couple days below it, uh, then I think you might have something uh, 
um, really to work with as far as any downside pressure is concerned. So I do not like the transports. That is the biggest canary in the coal mine here. I do not like what China is doing. That's also something that, um, as you know, China is a big manipulator of their um, economic data. So you can't take everything with a grain of salt. But uh, last night we, uh, we had um, um, one of the big uh, bond houses um, uh, miss their interest payments. So that's not a good sign. I mean, could it be anything, you know, not a big deal? Sure. But you know what? You've you got to take that into consideration, okay? But again, um, not a good sign. This is our leader, and our leader is not leading. So uh, did there, maybe the IWMs, which is the secondary leader, picking up steam? Sure. But right now, um, I would say that this is not uh, the leader here. So diamonds, you can see, popped up into this low, and then now we have sold back off. That's the Dow. So the Dow is definitely the weakest of the five that we follow, okay? Uh, but again clinging on to the 20 again so let's see what happens here today and the transports as you can see excuse me the um, I apologize the technology sector the queues did break it back above it now is above it and closed back above it that's a good sign let's see if it could stay up there for a couple of days and if you get technology starting to really lead and banks and financials which really haven't gone anywhere since November if they start to pick up steam then I think all bets will be off to the downside along with the transport starting to rally again then you could have something there that you have confirmation that we are indeed going to probably challenge the highs and that has not happened yet so that's what i'm looking for banks financials i'm looking for technology and i'm looking for the transports to give us leadership to move higher okay until that happens uh we should all be in scalping mode or again take the highest probability trades possible okay but today right as of right now we're going to be looking to sell rallies as long as we get a decent rally um, I'm going to be looking to sell short into that. All right. Have a day. Have a great day, everybody. And we will speak to you tomorrow. Take care.